So Blizzard don't seem to like us farming dungeons in Diablo 4 for that XP and the loot. They seemingly nerf a lot of good spots. But today guys I bring you 5 amazing farms you can use for that XP and loot as a solo player. Yeah for sure a group can also use these and make it more efficient but solo players can also take advantage of these spots. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So I've been back to the most popular dungeon farm solo players can use to see if Blizzard have done anything to them. And although you can definitely feel and see some changes here and there, there are still some great, great dungeons out there that you can take advantage of. So today guys, we look at five dungeons you can still use after the latest patch for easy XP and loot. Now a quick summary for players who don't know about how to reset dungeons so you can farm them over and over. As a solo player, once you are done with said dungeon and farming, simply leave the dungeon either by pressing up on your d-pad if you play on console and leaving the dungeon this way or bring up your map and exit in via the entrance. Once outside the said dungeon, quit out of your game via the game menus. Then load it back up. Once you load it back up, you'll be outside the dungeon. Re-enter and everything will have respawned. Now, if you're in a party, the party host simply leaves the party via the in-game menus. He will then teleport outside of the dungeon door. He then invites you back into his party and then you re-enter the dungeon. Everything will have respawned. It's that simple. Okay, so let's start with the first farm people. And firstly, guys, we have the Ruins of Erudu. This is a popular spot many people have already covered. Seemingly not noticed one important trait though. And it's a dungeon I actually thought they would have nerfed, but seemingly they haven't yet. Now this dungeon is home to a hidden instance where you can spawn more elites in within here. Now this might only be possible if your build allows you to take out a whole group of enemies quick enough. Now under my testing, and me and my pal did this multiple times, this is how we had it happen to us. I can confirm if you take out a large group of enemies real quickly, seemingly within the middle part of this dungeon, you will have a ton more elites drop down onto your heads for you to slay. And you're seeing this on screen now. So this dungeon is real easy to farm, but to make it the most efficient, you only really want to farm the first section for its XP. Because it's this first section which looks like a figure of 8 on your map where all the XP drops in the most efficient way. Again, if you are quick enough in taking out the enemies, it seemingly spawns more for you. Also, events are great within here. If you see one, definitely do it. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Haunted Refuge. Now this dungeon can be located right here on the map. Now to farm this the most efficient way, the first section of this dungeon will require you to collect two stone carvings and place them within that pedestal. Here I recommend you running past all enemies if you can, only stopping if there's an event or enemies trap you, and then while quickly progressing onto the second part of this dungeon. This is where all that goodness happens. So within the second part of the dungeon guys, it asks you to slay all enemies. Here guys, there's a point where there's so many enemies grouped up, is utter chaos. Now as you would, you want to group up as many as you can. So run past any stragglers into that pile and just do what you've got to do. Now it doesn't end here either, there's a 7 out of 10 times chance another large group of enemies you can face off against a little further on within this dungeon. It's probably because there's no boss within here and it's all about that quantity. So have a quick look around guys, if you see another group, take them out before farming this one. But efficiency wise, it's only these two that you want to be looking for and farming before resetting this dungeon for that maximum XP gains. Obviously, any events that appear, guys, you should definitely do too. Ready 
Okay, so next up, people, we have the Domhain Tunnels. This is another great solo farming dungeon, which can be found right here on the map. Now, when you first enter this dungeon, it requires you to free six prisoners. Here, I'd run past enemies if you can, and get these out of the way so you can get onto the second part of this dungeon where all that good stuff happens. So in the second part of this dungeon guys you will come across two massive amounts of grouped up enemies. These are the ones you want to be farming. Now personally you can run the entire thing if you want to as this dungeon isn't the biggest and the whole run solo if you're quick enough can take you easily under 10 minutes. But the XP is mostly got from the larger groups of enemies you will come across so these are the ones I recommend you farm. Okay, so next up guys, we have another incredible dungeon called the Iron Hold. Another one I thought they may have patched. I mean, they may have patched it, but if they did, I can't imagine what it would like beforehand because it's hectic now. So this dungeon can be found right here on the map, guys. Okay, so within the first section, you need to slay a certain type of enemy to retrieve a key. Here guys, run past all the enemies and make your way to the top right of this area. Once the enemy is found and slayed, you can then go ahead and pick up that key and run and open the door to progress. Here now guys, you want to run around this area looking for any events. These are the jackpots within here and are seemingly to spawn in a massive magnitude of extra enemies. Every time I've run this, has always been an event within the second part to do. But even still, even if there isn't, there's a few large groups of enemies down here which in turn will give you a great amount of XP as well as everything that comes with this. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the Forsaken Quarry. Now this was actually one of the first spots I covered early on and thought Blizzard had patched this. Well, after coming here to test it out guys, if they did patch it, it must have been nuts before because it's still crazy hectic down here. The amount of groups of big enemies down here is pretty scary. Now with this one, I actually recommend you run this up until at least the boss. If you want to fight the boss, that's fine. But the ads keep coming all the way to him. Large groups of them giving you massive amounts of XP. It might be a little longer than the others I've covered today, but I feel it's probably worth it in the long run with the amount of goodness this one brings. This is probably my favourite off this list to farm at the moment when I'm playing solo and looking for quick and easy XP. But there we have it guys, five amazing solo farming spots you can take advantage of within Diablo 4. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.